Right, welcome back to the channel. We're in the shed again and we're going to be fitting some new indicators to the CRF250 Rally because I seem to have lost two. So I've got some of uh, China Specials, these little LED indicators. I have got them fitted on my 650 and my 1200 Bandit. Really good little indicators, 10 for 4, not had any issues with them. So I'm going to put them on here. I mean, look how cute they are. Not going to stick out a lot. Hopefully not going to fall off a lot. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's do it. So first things first, I think we need to find how we get to these indicators. I've already undone the seat. I think we need to remove this top mud guard to get to the lights. Set the mud, the mud, mud flap, the number plate off. And uh, try and find out how to do it. So, let's go. Oh, yes. Just pop, just pop these panels off. Pop, pop. Which releases the front of the mud guard. I think should take the seat off. But there is some 10 millers under here. Peel this back here to expose the connections for the indicators, which I would assume are those two. I could do with me reading glasses on. Okay, how do I undo these? Like so. So don't think you're watching this as a how-to, this is a let's do. Let's do it and try and see. I can't get that on there so I'm going to have to lift up. Ah, yeah. Indicator's ready to go. So, let's have a look at what we're doing now. Right, so what I found is taking the indicators off, I have a big hole like that where these indicators will probably not go through them, but they're not going to fasten to it. So, what I need to do is make something this shape front and rear, sandwich them on with some ABS plastic. So, I'm just going to do that now. You don't need to see that. So what we've done, got the indicators on now, I've made some little ovals, drilled a hole in, sandwiched a washer at the back and fixed those on. I've wired in to the original wiring loom, which was quite easy. So now they're wired in, what we're going to do is test them, which we already know that they're going to flash fast, because what we need to do now is put a new flasher unit on to make them flash at the right speed. So I've already located it, I'm now going to disconnect it. Indicators are off now, and then I push the new flasher unit in. And get it just in there and then we have them flashing at the correct speed lovely the next problem is up front so up front you have three wires coming out of the original wiring loom you have an orange and silver green and silver You've got green and silver with air to your air, 
and a blue I think it's a blue and silver light blue and there's also another light blue and silver with a white line down it same with the orange and you do away with that because that is your daytime running lights which do not work when you have put altered the flasher relay so now when they come on the headlight might be a bit bright so now the indicators work but no daytime running light indicators which isn't a problem hazards work and that's basically how you wire them in okay let's put this baby back together and tidy up that wiring and that is the LED indicators all done so basically now just got to put this back get the mudguard back on just double check everything's working before we start putting the all the things back on hazards work I do believe yes lovely so we'll get this back together so I'm just tidying the wiring and going on at the front where I've uh, connected the front indicators in wrapping it with a bit of the tape and cable tying them back out the way so they make them look a bit tidy so that's that bit done and then final bit is uh, get the screen back on And just to let you know, the flasher unit is found behind the rear brake reservoir under the side panel. A bit fiddly to get to, but it's there. So that's the new indicators fitted. I hope they last longer than the other ones. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, comment below if you've got any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay. See you in the next one. Lay back. Live wild.